waters to see how it goes. With the new patch, it's not certain which one is better, I think, because there had too many major tournaments played yet, but the general trend has been dire because it gives you uh, easier safe jungle to farm in Roche control. But maybe something has changed in the patch. Um, we can only really see when the actual DPC circuit starts. Well, that was him talking about his sort of, as Catapult comes on in, it's the first one moving at the five minute mark. Get a couple pot shots off there. And it does look again like all of these lanes are kind of coming away relatively even with the main disparity. Uh, just being a slight win right there for Gunner Napkin. at the moment. Although this, this is a big one. If he can leaped make it in. happen, leap in and leap out. And well, doesn't get to leap again, did, but died. Husky was... with some really nice jabate, I guess. Yeah. Remnant. Just drop on down and then TP back out. Didn't have mana to really fight this one. Love underneath the tower. No roots. Gonna get dropped. Doesn't need it. Good rotation. I was wondering, I was literally gonna ask in a moment, are there, is there gonna be that six minute rotation that we've seen so much nearby to help out? No point spending mana, but while he leaves, mm -hmm. the looming bear. Now's where that pressure really starts to begin. Husky even coming in. Also TPing in the tusk level. Is that a level six? Yeah, Mu has hit six, so wants to go for a quick kill. Forward, find one. Walrus punch. Tree is gone. The fear now connecting. Esk. The second fear. The snowball doesn't get away. The root comes at the perfect time. Gunner with all the little tricks on that lone druid. Does it again. Gets that secondary fear, and they get the connection. Now this tower is probably just dead. Do you want to explain the secondary fear thingy, Mavopper, for it? Or is it... Same thing. Okay. Same concept. The bear... It's alive! Oh my god, it is alive. <laughs> well, nine is not gonna be alive. Seven to one, 2K gold lead, but more importantly, that tower going down. Can they keep this bear alive? It looks gonna be found. And yeah, underneath this ward. I mean, Napkin should know about this, but with tree nearby, they go, try and bring him down. That arrow, I think it didn't connect. And now the snowball, the turn. Yamsun, he gets the ulti off. Oh, and with Lelis nearby and all the regen coming in, he's gonna survive the CM ulti. They try and find it. Esk going to be able to get the kill. Another. But Esk is in very, very deep. Low on mana, pops the bottle, wants to get out of here. Does Ooh. ring around the rosy. Lelis goes back the other direction and he's realizes he's in the area. Moo trying to hunt him down. Shard's there, brings them both in. It's a pretty long ways out, but in the end, it's one more punch to take him down. And also, bottom, Gunner takes out the tower. It's already starting to get pretty out of control here. 11 to 2, 3k lead, pushing out the Morphling, taking the tower mid and bottom, and just beautiful rotation top setting up to defend their Pudge. Even though he does die. Yeah. Mook comes out with the win as the win. Lots of heals. We see that Sunray coming into play, definitely putting them up over the edge so they don't die. And now Napkin, maybe again. Some trouble there. Lelis moves in, they're all punching him down, and Napkin, oh, he tried to turn it for the duel, but Supernova gets off. I think he just gives a duel win if he does get the duel, <laughs> I'll be honest <laughs> with you, but. That was a chance. Maybe a little fortunate for him. Oof, how quick things accelerate. Now there's some extremely low level supports on the side of Theuth. Level four tree, level four Mirana. It's Husky, in pretty far. Tries to get out of there, but it won't happen. A uh, good steal by love of that uh, haste rune. Could have gone south pretty quickly if they'd given that over to Moo. They know. Yeah. They know the state of the game. And they know how, you know, that skill disparity that they do have, of course, if we've, as we've seen time and time before from Nouns. This is one of those better teams that yeah. has really dominated the region. Husky uh, moves on in, pops the ulti. Napkin in trouble. Now to drop and Husky gives the tip. Okay, I, they're all giving the tip. I mean, he dueled a Pudge. Yeah. I think he deserves that tip. That's a Grandmaster Legion who's dueling a Pudge who's way tankier and away from him. I think he actually hit him for zero damage during the duel. So now Esk. Tries to get out, remnants away. Gunner gets the fear. Connection, bringing down that Marana. This game feels pretty rough already. We haven't even gotten to see the Morphlin get to play, but the whole map is just starting to crumble around them. Yeah. Oh, he's waiting for him. He knows he's over here. Oh, no. Oh, okay, no, it's just a... I thought he dropped something else. <laughs> oh, God. Trying to get out of there. And his courier. Well, he's going to get that away, at least. 
it's just the raindrops. Oh, that's good. Alright, this is devastation. Oh, absolutely. It feels pretty rough, if I'm gonna be real. Who does he go for? <laughs> yeah. There's a Tusk who can save, there's a Phoenix with Sunray and Egg. Everybody's tanky. There's Rex. Starting to drop lower and lower. The bear getting hit. Moo is there. They get the pullback. Do manage to find a duel in a victory. On to Moo. Okay. And with the supernova down, they actually end up getting punished pretty hard by this. Gunner, he is very low. But oh, the, the CM ulti over to the Ooh. side. He's rooted. Gonna be taken apart there. Flame finds him, gets the kill, but Yamsun, I mean, this is a very big punch. But with the Morphling, it might be enough damage. They try and turn now, see if they can kill him off. It's not looking like it's enough, but Gunner, his bear, it's still alive to avenge him. And, well, the bear might be strong enough. He's going 1v3. <laughs> it's obliterated. If there was no overgrowth there, that could have just been Yamsum and Husky killing absolutely everybody because they were so stacked up. Right. But yeah, it does catch the CM. It's interesting because I think other roots don't break it anymore. Oh. Mm -hmm. And that is going to be another dual victory. Only 56 damage at this point. Oh, but this one's hurts. Yeah, that's a rough one. S goes down. Yeah, Trailt is one of those good roots. An actual one, not like CM Frostbite, which is a core is going to get caught up by the Phoenix very soon. Yeah, Olus has had a, a pretty freaking good game yep. on this uh, Phoenix and the snowball, snowball save. It's there. Oh. Gets caught by the arrow as he was moving into position. Pretty good turn onto this one, but well, with the CM ulti, that's going to be enough for the kill. And now the DD on the bear. Can't even use it yet. Not in range. <laughs> Just there waits. Is. Finally has the right cook available. One hit to maul through the Marana. Is that plus 24? It kicked in right away. I am a liar. I thought that was his ability, wasn't it? No. Okay. Maybe it was. Yeah. Well, whatever. Either way. Now they're kicked in. 56 armor. <laughs> Jump in. Find Moo, though. That's usually the save. He's getting blown up. Napkin, though, immediately goes down. Husky in some trouble. Actually gets out of there, though. Gets the bear. S wants to chase. Do they have the damage that they need to? Oh, as soon as he gets oh. bitten, that is where it all falls apart. So Morphling down, Fear, and Connection for the kill onto Nine. The hook is not going to land onto Esk, but the only one that needs to be alive right now is the Lone Druid. I'm pretty decent wraparound. It'll happen very soon. The, the team is coming. Yeah, and they're running in. Underneath the ward, Napkin, he sees Lelis. Does he want to go for it? Don't do it. He's doing it. He went on to Moo here. Moo. Gonna drop, so gets killed again. And Moo. Hook finding him. Do they chase Napkin? All right, well, Gunner went in, took out the racks while the fight's going on over there. They are gonna get well, the Legion Commander as well. Gunner's ending the game. He's yeah. like, get me out. <laughs> he's, he's done with this one. <laughs> Gunner ready to run on in. They can't stop him. They can't take care of the bear again. Four seconds until a resummon, but more importantly, he can just get the fear and end this one. Moo giving him the tip. The team appreciating what they're seeing as they will end this one off now. Yepson there. GG is called. Game number one goes to Nouns. Nicely done. A couple of decent kills and stuff like that from the side of Theuth, but I mean, this game was all Nouns, so they just kind of smashed this one. Oh, yeah. I, I was really impressed. Um, I think I was Theuth. I, a lot of times when he sees matches, I feel like, uh, you know, there's like an early lead that gets built up in the laning stage that feels insurmountable. In this, that wasn't necessarily as much the, the issue. It felt like it was more everything harm's way. They gotta run, Scorched Earth. Yeah, it's doing a lot of damage there. Love in some trouble, another hit, has to pop the fairy fire. Lou showing the power that he's got. Up top, the sleep at nine, he's in trouble. To get out of there. Has a sleight of fist in the chains, but it's going to be first blood drawn by Husky. Moo liking what he's seen from the other side. Does look the like. Four Ember. You know, the hero does absolutely nothing to Bane. There's an Epkin getting very aggressive. We'll have two Spirit Siphon charges back up, though. But a rotation. Here comes Gunner. Making that move, and nine is there. Two seconds stun with the DD. Napkin goes in. Yemsun low, but definitely not going to die to that. 
Nine, yeah, nine now. He's going to go down. Gunner gets the double kill, and they've brought in more. They even brought Lellis. Husky has six seconds until they have a nightmare, but Gunner with the slowdown, diving underneath that tower. They find him. They will kill him. And now Esk, he has to be careful, too. The nightmare's there. Oh, oh, buddy. That is really scary. Gets the lift back, pulls him in. They bring nine into the fold. Esk trying to get away. They bring down the Bane. Gunner, has he gone too far? He has Fairy Fire. Doesn't have a TP, though, for another 35 seconds. Tries to walk through. Nine is there. And I think Gunner has indeed finally gone a bit too far. He's going to get punished by Esk. Good TP rotations. It was starting to look very reminiscent of all the moves from the last game. But in the meanwhile, yeah. Moo gets a solo kill. Yeah. Uh, has the urn already. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Spirit Vessel, the next one up. I think for a long time it was Dagon after that, if I'm not mistaken. It was like E Blade or Dagon, depending yeah. on you know player or how you know what you're up against. Gunner moves again. Napkin, incredibly aggressive. Yeah, Napkin's gonna get punished again. He's gonna get thrown in the bin. That was a 10 second exorcism. Uh, moving in for nine now. Lift pulls him on back into the waiting clutches of a very friendly Viper. Friendly Viper, huh? Yeah. Uh, that's Arcane Boots for Lellis. Mm -hmm. Those two supports can continue to be active. Oh, you can go Mage Slayer, and then it's actually really effective this game. Versus Coddle versus Death Prophet. Mage Slayer works, of course, versus Exorcism. So if he gets a hit on him, it will reduce the damage of all those ghosts. So I just love that build because it turns into Bloodthorn and everything too. So. Husky. Nightmares one, but is going to get brought down after. Okay. Game. Really heads up play there just to pop the ulti. Knew that he was going to go for that Fiend's grip. Again up top, Napkin. Love. The first one that gets jumped on. And will go down. Okay. Napkin forced to run away. Protects his death profit at least. Good job, Crystal yeah. Maiden. Kind of this Gunner. They're yeah, deep. Son. They spot him. Ghosts are already going. It's half duration. Uh, Yule Scepter. Moo runs forward, finds him yet again. Husky in a little bit of trouble here. Moo still brazenly walking forward and just killed the Death Prophet. They really want some kills. They're like, screw hitting the objective. He just pops it and runs in. Okay. Lift pulls him back in. Do they have a way to break that one? Not right now. Moo getting brought down low. And with the Spirit Vessel, it's actually enough for the kill. They run in with the ember he came back to life only to die right into the clutches of yamsun esque really low by virtue of that ember or rather viper and Oof. almost does enough damage with the corrosive <gasps> actually is it enough to kill esque it was close it's very close as cm just got two shotted by the way by a ck actually going to i mean and you know that's all before the nose dive which isn't the greatest thing in the world but you know it's it's extra damage and all the rest of it the disarm and everything. It's all just going to make Slark's game a lot more difficult. There's now Napkin again. Oh my god, gets pulled to the low ground. In a little bit of trouble on the Bane. Wanted to go in to kill off Husky. It is not going to happen. Oof, Yamsa, new blink dagger shown. And Love slowed down. Finish. Double kill for Gunner. As they are going to take this mid tier one tower if they have anything to say about it. Can Nine hold off? Can S hold off? He's got to be careful. The blink, the CK's here. Stun, three second, pops the ulti, turns, ready to fight, beats him down to death. And just like that, it is enough to catch and kill that coddle. Game quickly accelerating. A mass amount of physical damage coming from Yamsun. It's mm -hmm. magical from the Viper. They've got control galore with Doom and Bane and Rubik. And the Doom the comes Doom out. Doom just gets Speaking used of it. now. Onto the Slark, another oh, solo for Moo. Man. He is found. He's going to be finished. Nine goes down to 19 to 5. The game does not look easy. No, it's yeah, looking incredibly reminiscent of Try that. to take advantage of that Doom this, being on cooldown. This was under a ward, so it was. Uh, Noun's very aware of what's happening right now. They show one up front. It's Lellis. They jump into him immediately. They're broken. So Nosedive is Esk. ready if they want to go on to him. They find the back lines. Esk in some trouble. Gunner lays it down. They did lose the Rubik. But Yamsun. already with one dead Yamsun down low. And he actually falls too. Okay. 
Maybe somehow this is kind of working for him, but uh, after that, it's going to be enough for Napkin to uh, fall. And Gunner TPing in onto the creeps. Doesn't manage to complete that TP. But they will get the Nightmare Sleep now and find and kill off Love. Four for two. Ends up being just fine for nouns, but Yamsun, he jumps in. His team doesn't really help him out too much, and he gets focused by three, four. A little bit of extra protection versus that. Yeah. I think uh, also, if they ever can find like a moment there where, you know, they can go for a pick. Oh, yeah, that range. Husky's got him. And the Fiend's grip. Nine dies on the other side of the map. This is just Husky coming on in for the finish. Now it's playing a lot more like a team now at this point, and you can really start to see the Theuth. They're starting to fall apart. Yeah. Cores, cores all over the place, not, not really able to play together. Well, now it's setting up beautiful ganks, and they still have Doom, so they can look for another target. Yeah, and they are looking for that Slark, wanting oh, to find it. Oh, and look him. at Bottom-esque. Finds it. Two seconds stun, another hit lands in from the Viper, and... Well, he is going to go down. Yeah, really starting to crumble. 25 minutes. I think Moo is just hunting the Slark. Yeah, he just gets a Doom on him. He's dead. And they still have that ward. The lift It will get broken from the Dark Pact. Jump in. Find the Stomp. Punch in the CM. Rooted. Walks away as the CM dies. Moo, cool as can be. Seven, one, and six. There is another game. <laughs> no, nah, they had, they did have some moments in laning phase, but really for the last, like, again, last 20 minutes or so, they have been able to do next to nothing to announce. Getting in towards a uh, Eternal Shroud next for the Viper. Even more immortal. It's nine. Eternally immortal. Hey. Bloodstone there. Amson sending in the illusions. Oh, he had Naganims too. Trying to dodge back and survive. They Ernest. get the lift. And yeah, Coddle, he's going to go down. No buyback for 60 seconds. Aim on top of him. Trying to do what he can. He eats the Viper Strike. And well, stolen CM ulti now. He's doomed. Lella's ready to go with it. It's a doomed up Slark. And Gunner helping to clean up the rest of them. As 30 minutes in, this is three heroes dead. Nine trying to stop it. Napkin is going to fall too. And I think that this is going to be some buildings going down in just a moment. Surprised they're not calling it here. They just spent the gold on the Coddle. That's likely two sets of racks. A full Scotty for the CK. Jeez. Yes, yeah. He's Nounce. It's looking way better. I mean, you could see that clear separation as a team. And, and yeah, GG's called. There it is. Very well played by Nounce. I mean, I, I think that, you know, again, you come on in, you have an idea of the way that you want to run the draft. Um, and they just execute it perfectly. Yep. Uh, it's good to be able to see a little...